Okay, we're back. Another short video about uh, valve shrouding the Ford Lima 2.3 liter turbo cylinder head. Here, I'm just showing you, I've blacked out the area. This is the amount of material we're removing. If you can see you know, pretty much where my thumb is, I've just drawn it sort of at an angle here, how much material is being removed. And I want to show you how much material is remaining. This is a junk head that I've cross-sectioned, obviously. And you can see how much material is remaining before you get into a coolant passage. So there's plenty of meat here. And this is on the inside of the exhaust port. And then on the other side where I did most of the work, so that's where you know, all of this stuff was done. Well, you've got even more space over here. As you can see here, I've again, I've just sort of blacked it out with a black felt marker. You can see the lines pretty much straight across here as to how much your material you're removing. And again, you can see that there's plenty of material left on the head here. I mean, you wouldn't want to go too crazy and start carving across because eventually you would break into a water passage. But if you're basically starting where the, just above the valve seat and coming up at a 45 degree angle, you could probably even be a little you know, more aggressive. You could probably do something greater than a 45. You should have plenty of meat here. This is at least a quarter of an inch thick here, if not, if not thicker than that. Probably closer, more like uh, 5 sixteenths. Okay, plenty of room. Something else I want to talk about just quickly is when you're working on the short side radius, and that's important for uh, porting and polishing either intake or exhaust ports. This is sort of what you want to accomplish. You want to remove, there's, there's some material right in here. It basically creates a venturi effect. You want to remove that, but when you do that, you want to carve basically straight up for a little while. You don't want to cut into it because you can see right away you can run into a problem and break into, a, into the water jacket. So you want to cut straight up for about a quarter of an inch and then start radiusing the corner. And that way you'll leave lots of room, so lots of material here, that's, that's almost a quarter of an inch, that's not quite a quarter of an inch, but there's plenty of material left here, so you don't have to worry about breaking into a water passage. But you can see here, this is basically going straight up for about a quarter, maybe even a three-eighths of an inch, and then it starts a smooth radius. Which